Today, I have the honor and the pleasure to talk to Alan Nee. And Alan, you're the director of Smart Spaces and IoT at Aruba. And Aruba is an HPE company. And what we see now happening is that almost all companies that have transitioned to um, a remote workforce, and sometimes they did it in days, sometimes they did it in weeks. So and what kind of steps do companies take to ease this type of transition? What do you see? And can you give an example what type of equipment they invest in? Great. Thanks for having me, Iran. Really appreciate being here. Yeah, we Aruba has been really at the forefront of helping and assisting companies recover in this environment. And we actually see it in three stages, right? There's the recovery where we've been really assisting companies and their employees with work from home. We see another stage that we'll talk a little bit later around return to office, making those employees feel safe as they return back into work. And then finally, a third phase where we kind of see that there's going to be a new paradigm shift, right? With folks not just working from home temporarily, but maybe with some permanence and sharing both working from home and potentially entering the office. And we call that the hybrid workplace. But going back to your initial question around the work from home, we've seen a lot of investment and focus by companies around connectivity first, right? Ensuring capacity and resilience um, on the connections uh, so that individuals with their devices can connect back to corporate resources, be it in the cloud or a data center. There's been a lot of other focus around collaboration tools. You know, Many of us have been on Zoom calls, Microsoft Team calls, Google Hangout calls, right, to connect with teams, with customers. And there's been a great deal of focus around scale and resilience and quality of service around those tools. And then finally, as you kind of suggested, um, we're starting to see, you know, in certain segments, a lot of investment and actually movement of corporate peripherals and devices that you would have expected in the workplace to actually go from home. So whether it's for call center applications, things like VDI, printing, all of a sudden now things that in peripherals that you would have expected in the workplace, in some cases are actually moving home to keep people um, productive at what they need to do the task at hand. And in this work from home situation, what kind of frameworks do companies use to be sure that the companies and the employees use the right tools? Yeah, so I think a lot of the frameworks are very fortunate right now. It's happened now versus 10 years ago. A lot of the workloads that we have are all cloud-based for a lot of organizations. So that's really facilitated a lot of it from a framework perspective. Um, one of the unique capabilities Aruba and Hewlett Packard Enterprise has is that to support some of the more um, sophisticated setups, as I kind of talked about, you know, sending peripherals at home, et cetera, we actually have a piece of equipment, a solution called a remote access point, where we could actually send that home with individuals. And that could basically propagate the wireless that you would be accustomed to connecting to in the office. And actually, at, actually also has secured wired ports to plug in things like corporate assets such as printers, right? Uh, maybe a hard phone, um, maybe a turret if you're in a financial trading environment, um, a VDI workstation um, to facilitate easier work, give the individuals the tools that they need. And a device like that is uniquely capable because it now gives a point of presence for the enterprise um, in the home where you can actually manage it remotely and it's designed to work off of a traditional sort of ISP connection. And you were talking about scenario going back to the office and many governments now allow the organizations to go back. Based upon your insights, will partly remote working be considered as, as a new type of working? And what kind of investments do you see that companies typically make in, in these countries that open up? Yeah, no, great question. So um, let me answer the last question first. So I do think, you know, this times that we're in has changed the idea of remote working, right? It's no longer just temporary. We're seeing a lot of interest with organizations around new capabilities and functions such as location and contact tracing. Aruba recently announced we're having capabilities natively to our customers on the network to allow for HR and health individuals 
if there were to be a sick person in the office and they were to notify someone within HR, HR now has the ability to leverage technology to assist contact tracers who really understand you know, who that individual is interacted with and potentially notify or take actions to, to make the workplace safe, right? So experiences, whether it's kiosk, whether it's in a conference room, things that multiple people had to touch in the past, you know, to interact, whether it's a technology piece of equipment or anything else, you're starting to see a lot more focus and investment around how do we make those experiences um, more sanitary and maybe in some cases driven through a phone that only one user touches versus, you know, multiple people touching. Yeah, Alan, thanks a lot for joining our show. And I'm glad that the technology is there to support all this new type of, of work processes and uh, work approaches. For the audience, thanks a lot for watching and see you next time. Thank you.